What is up? Back here in the garage, getting the boat ready. Uh, as you guys know or may not know, we are getting ready to head out to Florida for our last event for the National Professional Fishing League. I'm actually going to get down there pretty early and fish a couple extra lakes on the way. Uh, but got a pretty cool product that I think I'm going to get to use quite a bit going down to Florida. Uh, so let me show you what that is real quick. So I had a company that's actually based here in Kentucky send me this thing here, the Precision Sonar. And uh, we're going to open this package up. I've already cut it, but we're going to get in here and I'm going to show you what they sent me and we're going to put it on. So, they have sent me the old trolling motor grass cutter blade. We're going to be needing this sucker down there. Never put one of these on before, never ran one of these, but we're going to put this one together. So, let's install this real quick on the old Minn Kota Otrex before we head down to Florida. Looks like the first step we've got to do, it doesn't specify the actual grit of sandpaper, but we're supposed to take some light sandpaper and kind of lightly sand the area you're going to apply this at, and then I'll show you the next step. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the provided alcohol swab here and we're going to actually wipe that area, get it nice and clean, and we're also going to wipe the bottom of the actual blade itself, the spot that is going to actually mount to the uh, control motor. Let's do that real quick. Now we're going to take our double adhesive tape here and we're going to apply it directly to the bottom of this uh, ninja blade and I'll show you exactly where to put that at, so give me one second. So if you look at this thing, where the blade is at, we're actually going to put the, the tape, if you can picture it, we're going to put the tape this way in here. Not where the blade's at, but on the inside part where the thickest piece of metal is. So you're going to put your tape in that section. So do that first. Make sure you take your time so it's not a crooked like mine, but it's on there. So put that on there. You're still going to have that white piece of tape, so that's what that'll look like. So you see there? Kind of put it in that same direction. Now, just for a reference, I'm going to show you where you're going to put this. So, you can picture this. You want it to hang over. Spin your blade, you know, to where your blade's not going to hit. But you want that to be about right there to where you get the most cutting surface. And you have your tape and your thicker piece on the troll motor itself. So, yeah, we can see there it's not hitting anything. So, we're good. Let's put it on. Now, it's crucial that you hold your tongue out when you do this. It doesn't say anything about having to apply any pressure. It does mention that you need to press down to completely then still install and you need to wait 12 hours before using it. So I'm going to hold it just a little bit. Yeah, pretty tight. Squeeze. And there you go, guys. Got this old grass ninja on here just in time for old Lake Toho. Go through there and just chop the shit out of that Kissimmee grass and pads. If you would like to pick one of these up, head over to PrecisionSonar.com and grab you one today. Okay, Precision Sonar.